Hello everybody, it is me, Corey Motley. I am here to do a declutter video. I realize it's kind of silly to talk about all the stuff that I'm gonna be decluttering whenever you guys haven't even really seen my makeup collection. And maybe I'll do a makeup collection video down the line, but I'm not really planning on doing it right now because I am lazy. There's really no other excuse than that. Um, I've been going through a lot of makeup lately. I've been buying a lot of new stuff. I'm not necessarily like new to the market stuff, but just new to me stuff. And the more I buy, the more I realize I need to get rid of some stuff. I have like one drawer in my bathroom that has all of my eyeshadow palettes in it, and they're all kind of stacked like books, kind of. And it occurs to me the more I buy that the more I need to get rid of stuff because I'm running out of room in that drawer and a lot of the palettes I'm not really using anymore. That being said, I've got like a couple boxes on this little table in front of me that have stuff in them, and a lot of the stuff is not eye palettes, but I'm going to do the eye palettes first. And then I will just kind of go through this box and tell you about a lot of stuff that I'm getting rid of. Truth be told, most of the stuff I'm getting rid of is really old, uh, probably like five plus years old. So I know it's not really good anymore. I mean, I'm not really sure how accurate um, sort of like the sell-by dates on cosmetic items are, because usually they have a little jar on the back that says like, you know, 12 months, 24 months, however long they last. Um, because some stuff still works, like I have, you know, some eye palettes that I've had for like three or four years that probably have a 12-month shelf life on them, but I still use them and they're fine. However, if I get some kind of like eye infection, I guess that's my funeral. So I'm going to go through some of this stuff. I don't know if I'm going to show everything, but I thought it might be entertaining just to show some of my old stuff that I'm getting rid of, and that's it. So let's begin. The first thing I'm getting rid of is this BH Cosmetics Modern Mattes palette. This is a 28 pan palette. Um, it's got a lot of neutrals in it and it's got some bright colors down here, uh, but truth be told, I don't really use this palette a lot. I bought it because it was cheap. It was like $15 and at the time I thought, oh, what a great value. You get 28 shadows for $15 and I just don't really use it anymore. Um, Pretty much the only color I used a lot was this kind of like bone colored shadow to just do like a washed over look um, if I wanted to just kind of like blank out my eye color. Um, but I have other shades like that, so I just don't really use this anymore. I haven't used it in probably like a year and it's huge and I don't really like giant eyeshadow palettes, so I'm going to get rid of it. The next thing is this Profusions Royals palette. As you can tell, a lot of the shades are like missing. Um, that's not because I use them all the way up, it's because I use some of them for custom eyeshadows. I actually did a handful of custom eyeshadow colors and I used some of the shades in here to do that. And then about oh, two or three weeks ago, I dropped this on the floor because I'm an idiot. And I ended up uh, shattering a bunch of the shades, so that was a bitch to clean up. I'm also getting rid of the NYX Happy Birthday palette. When you think, like when I saw this palette, I was like, oh, Happy Birthday. It's probably like, you know, festive, shimmery, like kind of like party shades. And then you open it up and it's just a boring, warm neutrals palette. Like it's not really that interesting. It's just a lot of warm colors. The only colors that I think are interesting in this palette are this kind of like plummy shade. And then this kind of like greenish, it's kind of hard to tell because my lights, but it's like a greenish shade. Um, but I have a lot of these colors like three times over in my collection and I never use this so I'm going to get rid of it. Another warm neutrals palette I'm getting rid of is the NYX Ultimate Sugar High palette. Um, as you can see this palette kind of has a this thing going on where it's like mattes on top, metallics, and then glitters on the bottom. I don't really like glittery eyeshadows and the only colors I'm really interested in are these kind of like plummy colors over here, but I'm pretty sure I have more than one color like this in my collection, so it's not really worth it to keep the palette for just that shade that I like, um, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm also getting rid of this Believe Beauty palette. This is Dollar General. They have their own makeup line. I didn't know if you knew that. They actually have a lot of stuff in their line. They've got multiple eyeshadow palettes. They've got lip liners, eyeliners, um, foundations, primers, uh, makeup mist. Um, nail polish. Um, they have a lot of stuff, but this palette is just a little kind of rosy neutral palette. I gouge some of this middle shade out to make a custom shadow once. I've used this palette once. It's fine. If you're like the kind of person who doesn't want a lot of eyeshadows and maybe you do the same look every day, this is a $5 palette, so maybe it would be good. Um, 
I just don't use it. I mean, that's kind of the theme with a lot of these palettes is I'm just not using them, so I don't need to keep them around. And my last eyeshadow palette that I'm getting rid of is my NYX Ultimate Edit palette. I got this a while back because it's kind of like a rainbow palette. Um, I've gouged a lot of the shadows out in order to make custom shades. I mean, we've got yellow, orange, pink, purple, blue, which is gone, and then a green, which I like have barely touched. Um, I just never use this, and I've got other kind of like rainbowy palettes in my collection. And this was like $8, so if I feel really that passionate about it, I could just go buy it again, but I probably won't, because I don't even use it now, so why do I need to keep it? I just need to get rid of it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. The rest of the stuff in this box is kind of in no particular order, so I'm just gonna kind of grab some stuff and talk about them. Um, I have this Crown Duo Fiber Brush. I don't really use this for anything. I've got a bunch of brushes in my collection, so I just don't use it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, I've got a couple of Napoleon Perdis for Target powders. I have set one and set two. You can't really tell the color difference in the camera. Um, but these are just pressed powders. There's nothing special about them. They're like five or six years old. I never use them. So I'm gonna get rid of those as well. I've got a couple of these Burt B Burt's Bees tinted lip balms. Um, one is in the shade Petunia. As you can tell, it's kind of like messed up at the top, probably for me opening and closing it a bunch. The other shade is in Hibiscus, which is this kind of really nice like reddish color. Um, I just don't use these and I don't think they're that comfortable on the lips and I've had them for a really long time So I'm getting rid of them another Napoleon Perdis one. This is uh, San Francisco. This is a really disgusting um, Oh, yeah, it's actually completely broken the lipstick is in the top Well, that means I don't even need to explain why I'm getting rid of this but as you can tell it's this very gross kind of like cream color It's just not a good color. It's not attractive um Oh man, this is broken. This is gross. Um, yeah, it's just not a good color. It looks gross. It's pretty sheer. Um, yeah, I just didn't like it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I've also had it for a million years. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to offer up like amazing reasons why I'm getting rid of a lot of this stuff, but I just am. A lot of it's just old and it's not very good. Um, I have some of these Starlight Studio. These are like kind of face and body pencils from Target. I got a three pack with this turquoise one, this black one, and then a kind of a hot pink one at Target. These things are really, really cheap. Um, the pink one I actually still have in my collection because it's okay, but the black and turquoise ones are, eh, they're not really that good. It's kind of a get what you pay for situation. I was not that impressed with them, so I'm getting rid of them. I have a bunch of these Pixie Tinted Brilliance foams. Um, I think there might be like one more hiding out in here. Yeah, I've got four of these that I'm getting rid of. Um, this one is Magnific Mauve. It's just kind of like a gross, like brownie mauve color. It does not look flattering on me at all. Um, this one is Baby Bear, which is a very strange kind of like peachy color. Um, just not really into that. It looks very weird on me. Uh, Nearly Naked is also another kind of gross creamy brown color. Super not into that. It just kind of makes me look a little bit dead. Um, this is one that I actually kind of liked. This is, uh, I don't even know what this one's called. I don't think it has a color name on it. But this is like a clear, um, I just swiped it right here. It goes on clear, but it kind of does that thing where it transforms your lips into like a little bit of a pink color. Um, the funny thing is that the first time I used this, I thought it was just a clear lip balm, so I slathered it all over my lips. Um, and then it turned pink later, and I looked really strange. Um, I don't mind this. I think it's actually fine, but at this point, I have, like, two other things in my collection that do the exact same thing. I have a Milani, that, like, cannabis green goddess one, and it does the same thing. And I have an elf one that does pretty much the same thing. And plus, the cap is cracked on this one, um, and I've had it for a million years, so I just need to get rid of it because it has too much overlap with other things in my collection. Um, speaking of lip products that make you look dead, this is another Believe Beauty. This is a lip pencil. Um, this is a weird... Um, it's this shade right here. Um, it's just kind of like a chalky, um, kind of, I don't even know what I would call this. The color name is barely there. I bought it because I thought it would be a similar color to my lip colors, which it's not a million years off, but whenever I put it on, it just kind of looks chalky and lighter than my lips, and it makes me look like I'm a corpse. So uh, that's not great. I think it was like $3 or something though. Those lip liners are super cheap. The formula I don't recall being super bad, but just the color is really awful. I have this Rimmel 
Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. Um, this I bought because I thought it was going to be, again, about the same shade of my lips, which honestly, not a million years off, but it just looks kind of gross on my lips. It's kind of drying and uncomfortable. You'll see what, in this video, I kind of went through like a liquid lipstick phase where I was buying a bunch that I thought would all be similar to my lip colors. Um, my lip color, my lip only has one color. Um, and then I just didn't really like the formulas or whatever. And I've had this for a really long time. I was looking at this earlier before it got kind of mixed up and it was doing this kind of like goopy, like it had separated and there was just kind of like a clear liquid running around through the container. Looked pretty gross. Um, yeah, I just don't need this anymore. I need to get rid of it. I literally never reached for it. Also, I have this NYX lip lingerie. This is in the shade Cheekies. Um, it's this very strange kind of like super peach color. Like, first of all, that's like a lip color. Like, this is like way too peachy to be a good lip color. And the really funny thing is I bought this color thinking it was going to be about the same color as my lips. I was obviously like a million miles away. I have no idea why I picked this up because I thought it would look like my lip color. It's like way too peach. It almost looks like a tube of concealer. Um, yeah, I was like 25 when I bought this and apparently I didn't even know <clears throat> what my own color of lips were, or maybe I can blame Target's like lighting in their aisle. Let's just, yeah, let's just go with that. I've got a ColourPop eyeliner. This is one of their gel cream liners. This is in the color Zulu. It's kind of like a nice sort of like turquoisey color. Um, there it is right there. Um, this pencil is pretty dry. I don't find that it goes in the waterline very well. Um, I also now have the LA Girl Shockwave liner in a very similar color that works probably better for cheaper. And I've had this for a really, really, really long time. I remember when I first got this in the mail, I like waited like, you know, a week to get it sent to me. And I like rushed into the bathroom and, you know, put it on my waterline. And like the second I touch it to my waterline, the tip like crumbled off and I was so disappointed. Um, I've heard other people talk about these being dry and I think that they are. So, you know, and plus I've had it for probably like four years, so I need to just get rid of it because obviously it's not getting any less dry over time. Same thing with this. This is a Sephora waterproof pencil. This is in the color Blonde Ambition. It's just this kind of like goldy color. I actually really liked this back in the day before it dried out. Um, it's a pretty cheap, the Sephora brand is not that expensive. I want to say this was in like the $10 range. Um, I liked putting it on my waterline just to kind of brighten up my eyes, but this just kind of got too dry. And I have some other colors, <clears throat> excuse me, that are similar to this. So I'm just getting rid of it. This is something, I've got this Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter. It's a little liquid highlighter you pump out. I'm not really a highlighter person, so I bought this thinking that I could use it as just like a wash of color on my eyes. I was gonna do kind of like a metallic editorial look with this. And I remember pumping it out onto my hand and kind of swirling it around and then dabbing it onto my eyes. And like, as I was blending it out on my eyes, it was lifting off of itself as I was putting it on my eyes. So it's just not very good. I mean, I don't know how it would work on the cheekbones. I'm not really a cheekbone highlighter person, but this did not stay on my eyelids at all. It was lifting off in flakes as I was putting it on. All right, next up, let's talk about some blushes. I'm not really a blush person, so, uh, I won't use these. I have MAC Warm Soul. I think this was kind of like an OG, you know, YouTuber blush color back in the day. It's really pretty, but it's shimmery and I don't wear blush. Somebody sent this to me and I just don't use it, so I need to get rid of it. Same thing with NARS. This is the color Impassioned. It's just kind of this like really dusty petal pink color. I find that when I swatch it on my hand, it like barely shows up. Um, and I just, again, I don't wear blushes. This was sent to me to try um, by a friend in a Facebook group, and it just, I don't wear blush, so I don't need it. Um, I have this L'Oreal Dream Lumi Liquid Light Concealer. Um, I have yet to find a highlighter that looks good, or I mean not a highlighter, a concealer that looks good under my eyes. As you can see, I've got a lot of darkness under my eyes, and it's also inside of my eye right here, and my lower lash line is actually, or I'm sorry, my upper lash line is a little bit darker than the rest of my eyes as well. Um, and every under eye concealer I've used is just very cakey and it doesn't look very good. And I kind of just like don't really give a shit about my, the, my under eyes looking dark. It just, you know, it's one of those things where I don't have the time or the money or the energy to like 
keep trying new concealers to try to make it look good, so I just don't. Like, I, who has the time? I don't. Same thing with this. This is the Rimmel, what is this called? A Match Perfection Concealer. It's got pretty much the same kind of applicator, this like brush applicator. Um, again, this one just looks kind of dry and cakey on me. Didn't really like it, so I'm getting rid of it. And speaking of dry and cakey concealers, this is one of the first high-end items I ever bought. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer in SC3. Um, I like this concealer because they do come with two tones. This one's a little bit lighter and this one's a little bit slightly darker. Um, but this is a very, very dry formula. And I remember somebody on, I think on like Twitter, recommending this to me. And they said like, oh yeah, I use this and it basically stays put all day because I was using this as like a blemish concealer, like something like, ooh, like this, my little like acne scar spot right here. I would have used this for something like that to just like cover up an acne mark or a pimple or something like that. Um, but this just looked really, really dry on me. I mean, it didn't last very long. It kind of did that thing where like it looked like the skin was kind of flaking off where you put it on. And even if I powdered it, even if I didn't powder it, and I was just really disappointed in this because like I expected it to look really great um, and to work because like it's Laura Mercier, this thing was not cheap. I can't remember how much it was, but I know it was probably like $30 or 25 or something. Um, and it's just not good. It's just not good. And like, Lisa Eldridge talks about using this all the time and she's like, oh, well, sometimes you have to mix it with some moisturizer to make it work. But like, I don't have time to mix a concealer with a moisturizer to make it work. What I do have time for is to just find a concealer that works the way it's supposed to. And this one, I just, I don't, like, I'm not gonna take a brush out and get moisturizer and like mix this in on the back of my hand to make it work whenever I could just find a concealer that does that on its own. I don't have time for that, and this is just really dry. It doesn't look good, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I've been hanging on to it forever because it's one of those like, you know, I've had it for so long and I paid a lot for it, so I wanna make it work. But I just can't, I just don't like it. I've got these two tube foundations here. Um, I've got Rimmel BB Cream and this Dream Urban Cover. Um, let's talk about the Rimmel one first. This one just smells, it smells really weird, you guys. Ugh, it's got like a weird kind of sour smell to it, but I think that's the way it's supposed to smell. I just don't remember this looking very good on me. I haven't used it in a long time and I know it's old now, it's probably expired. Um, so I just didn't really like it. I remember it looking kind of dry. Um, the Dream Urban Cover, I was really excited about this foundation because it's kind of like, it was supposed to be like a drugstore option for the It Cosmetic CC Cream because this is Dream Urban Cover. It comes in a lot of shades. It has SPF 50 in it. But this one, like, I mean, first of all, I bought it one shade too dark for me because Target didn't have the shade that I needed. And second of all, it just looks like it never quite settles on my skin. Like if I put it on with a brush, I could kind of like see all the brush strokes on my face and it would never kind of settle itself down or dry at all. And I just didn't, it just kind of looked like it was sitting on my skin rather than kind of like buffing into my skin. I was really disappointed because I really wanted to like this, but I mean, I think about makeup a lot the way I think about kind of like beer and wine and liquor like you just kind of have to pay for it and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and sometimes you like the beer and sometimes you don't and I didn't like this so I'm getting rid of it. Let's talk about these while we're talking about foundations. I have these Pixie Flawless Vitamin Veils. I don't think they make these anymore but these are these weird kind of like compacts of cream foundation. I have fair and medium. First of all, the shade range in these are garbage. And second of all, um, they're just kind of this weird, like really sticky consistency that I just can't, they just looked thick on my face. They also have, they're supposed to have this little puff down here that's probably stupid and worthless. Um, yeah, these just always look kind of cakey on me. I like the idea of a cream foundation because you just dip the brush in and then kind of apply it directly to your face. But I felt like no matter how much I tried to shear this out and make it look good, it just always looked kind of thick. And I mean, not dissimilar to this. Like it just kind of looked like it was sitting on my skin. 
Um, I've also had these for like five years, so I need to just get rid of them because they're really old and I know they don't really work anymore. Pretty much the same thing for, I've got this Pixie Illuminating Tint and Conceal. It's an SPF um, tinted moisturizer here, and then it's got this dumb like concealer nub thing on top. First of all, the concealer is really thick and it looks gross. And this foundation I thought I liked, or tinted moisturizer, I'm sorry, um, SPF 20, I thought I liked, but it kind of has this like glittery, shimmery look on the skin that's really evident when you get like in daylight. And I just don't like that. I don't want to look like a, you know, Twilight vampire. So I'm getting rid of that. I've got four of these Pixie. These are the Eye Bright and Extra Eye Bright liners. Um, the Eye Bright liner is kind of like a nude color for your waterline to make you look more awake. The Extra Eye Bright is kind of like a pink color. Um, and they're basically just to be used on the waterline to make you look a little bit more awake. Um, I think, I don't know if these are bad products, but I think I've had them for so long that they just look really dry on my waterline. Like they kind of leave that flakiness on my waterline rather than like just going on smoothly. I've got this e.l.f. What is this? This is the e.l.f. Aqua Lip Stain. I actually have two of these in other colors that I really like. You just swipe them on and they leave kind of a nice stain on your lips for a little while. Um, I've got like a berry one and kind of like a true red one that I really like because um, the those kind of make give you kind of like that popsicle, you know, like you just ate a popsicle kind of lip color, that stain that I really like. But this one's called Red Orange Wash and it's just a weird color. It's very orangey and it looks kind of like my lips are on fire when I use it. Not mad at the formula, I just think the color's not for me. I bought it on an e.l.f. sale for like a dollar or something, so... You know, it's just, you know, I don't feel that bad giving it up because it's pretty cheap. Unlike the freaking Laura Mercier powder that was expensive, so I wanted to make it work. I've got this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Cream Shadow. I really like these. Um, I've got a purple one that I love. They've, they re-put these out like a year ago. This is a really old one. This is from like three years ago. This is a nice kind of silvery color. This is in the shade Too Cool. I just have an eyeshadow pencil that's like the exact same color as this, or like an eyeshadow like kind of chubby stick thing. So I don't need this anymore. Also the packaging is kind of bulky. It's glass. Um, it just takes up a weird space. I like my eye colors to be in palettes because if they're in like singles like that, they just kind of stack up everywhere and I don't like that. Um, I've got a Napoleon Prittis for Target. This is a tester that I stole from Target whenever I was working there. Um, I don't know, sue me daddy if you work for Target. Um, I used to work for Target for a long time but we had a bunch of testers that I would steal whenever we would do um, like changing, we would change the aisles or like reset the aisles. I was a team lead for a long time that used to reset aisles and I have a lot of Target stories I could tell. Um, one of which is the time that I stole a bunch of boxes of testers because we would get the testers in and then nobody would replace the testers. So we had completely unused testers that would just sit in this box, um, like in the back room or something. And then by the time the aisle reset, uh, corporate would just send us new a new box of testers and we would put the brand new testers out and they would send like a backup box and these were in the backup box and they were completely untouched um, and we were literally just gonna throw them away because that was the direction of corporate because they'd been sitting there for a year. Um, so I just took a bunch of this stuff. This was when I was first getting into makeup. Um, it was either gonna go to me or it was gonna be thrown away, but I took a bunch of stuff just to experiment. A lot of the pixie stuff I have in here, I took from Target. Um, but this is a pre-bronzing primer. This is not uh, dissimilar to like the Cover FX drops. It's kind of this weird, um, you know, bronzy gel thing. Um, I just don't use these. I don't need my foundation to be bronzy. This is the kind of thing you mix in with your foundation. I just don't use them. I don't need that. I've got a couple of powders in here. I have this NYC powder. That's New York color. This used to be a very similar brand to like Wet n Wild that was in Target. I once heard someone say that this was like the Laura Mercier powder, but I don't have Laura Mercier money because um, I spent it all on the pre or on the concealer that sucks. So um, I don't have the kind of money to be buying that the translucent loose powder from Laura Mercier. I can't even buy the 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 little tester version because that's like four thousand dollars on its own. Um, so this was, I don't know, like five bucks or something. I bought this a really long time ago. In, NYC is not sold in the United States anymore, which is funny because it's literally called NYC. I think it's a Canadian company and I'm pretty sure they pulled out all of their cosmetics back to Canada. 
And, like, I used a lot of this, and I rem I think it was, like, fine, but it's just a really bulky container, and I only have so much storage, so I just need to get rid of it because I haven't been using it anymore. Um, kind of the same thing with this NYX. This is the Photogenic Studio Finishing Powder. This is a white translucent powder, so it's one that looks kind of scary. Um, as you can tell, it's very... Um, very finely milled, but this is kind of a silky powder, but I felt like it didn't really do much once I got it on my skin. It just kind of, I don't know, it didn't really do anything special, and I have other powders now that I'm using, so I don't really, oof, I don't really need that one anymore. I've got a couple of Milani liquid lipsticks. Um, this is a Moray Matte Metallic in the color Cinematic Kiss. This is an Amore Matte Lip Cream in the color Devotion. Um, these smell really good. Oh god, they smell like a bakery, like chocolate and cakes. Cupcakes, oh my god. If you're not into scented things, do not pick these up. God, but they smell so good. Um, the metallic one is actually pretty good. I just some kind of over liquid lipsticks and like metallic liquid lipsticks. This one, however, this color is gorgeous, this devotion color. Um, let me swipe it on real quick. Um, yeah, this is Devotion right here. It's this beautiful, I think of kind of like a Count Dracula red, like that's sort of what I think of. The problem is that this one specifically, I put it on my lips, and in about three and a half minutes, it dries down so hard that it starts cracking and crumbling off my lips. I don't know if I just got a bad one, or if this color is bad, or if the rest of them are bad, but this color I wanted to make work, but it just looks like shit once it's on my lips. It cracks, it crumbles, it's just disgusting, and I would love for this to work, but it just looked like trash on my lips. I've got a Pixie Redness Reducing Primer. This is one of those green primers. Um, if I squeeze some out, you can see that it's like a green color. It's one of those ones that's supposed to reduce redness. Um, obviously, it's called the Redness Reducing Primer. Um, I have a Napoleon Perdis one that I like more than this. It's pretty much the same thing, except for that one's a little more illuminating. Um, and this one's a little bit thicker. So I just don't really use this one ever. I've got the Benefit Boring Industrial Strength Concealer and the What's Up Highlighter. This is a little split pan thing. Um, the concealer is over here. It's really cakey. I also don't think it's in my skin color, so I don't like it. The What's Up um, highlighter is actually pretty... I mean, it's actually pretty. That was the end of the sentence right there. Um, it's not a bad color. I mean, you probably can't even really see it. I just kind of swiped it on uh, right there. Um, it's got a nice sheen, but I just never... I'm not much of a highlighter person. I just never really go for these kinds of things. Um, the concealer's not very good, so I just need to get rid of it. Speaking of KG concealers, I've got this little trial size of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, this is super thick, it's super gross, did not look good under my eyes. I have given up my quest to find an under eye concealer because this just looks like trash. Um, and plus, I just don't care. Like I, don't, like I said, I don't have the time and energy and money to be spending trying out a million different concealers it just, it's not that important to me. So this is tiny. I tried it like three times. It looks like trash every time. Um, I've got a few fake lashes in here. I'm not going to show them, but I just don't wear fake lashes ever. So I'm getting rid of them. I've got this dual ended pixie pencil. Um, it's got a shimmery side and a, this is the shimmery side and the matte side. Um, it's kind of like a waterline inner corner highlight thing. I think this is fine. But I think I, at this point, these are pretty dry, and at this point I think I have other pencils that do kind of the same thing that I like better that are creamier. So I'm going to get rid of that. I've also got the Pixie Brightening Peach Color Concentrate. This is one of those, like, under-eye corrector colors. Um, this is really thick. No matter how hard I tried to thin it out or use a small amount, it would make my under-eyes look like... Sort of like my under eyes look like the desert, but then after it rains, like, and there's like a sheen over the dryness, that's kind of what this looks like. Just kind of gathered up in my lines, didn't really look very attractive. Yeah, I just didn't really like this at all. And I paid for this one. Most of the stuff I got from Target or Testers um, from the Pixie line, I paid for this and it sucks. This is the Tarte Sting Zing. Um, this is like a basically just kind of like a lip oil type thing that's supposed to like plump your lips. I've been into like a lip plumping thing lately. This one is weird because first of all, the cap is broken. So the cap did not stay glued to the actual cap, which really annoys me. 
Um, the second thing is that the applicator on it is very strange. It's this weird, like, I mean, I know it's got squids on the container, but it's this weird kind of like squid tentacle. It even has these little like hairs on the edge. Um, it also doesn't sting, for it to be called stingzing, it doesn't sting very much at all. This is like one of my least stingy, like lip plumpery things. Yeah, it's just pretty watery. Um, doesn't really sting much, doesn't really plump my lips. The cat broke, the applicator's weird. It's just like everything that could go wrong with this, I feel like did go wrong. I just don't like this. I cannot imagine paying a full price for that. And let's do one thing to round this out. Let's talk about this tart. Uh, Tardis Pro Glow to go. This is a little highlight and contour palette. We've got Gleam, Burst, and Chisel. Um, yeah, I just didn't really like this very much. I tried to use Chisel. I'm not really a highlighter person, so I didn't really use these that much. Um, they're just kind of dry and powdery to me, um, or stiff is maybe the right word. Um, chisel is also just this kind of weird brown smeary color, kind of looked like I was putting mud on my face. Not really into that. Um, so, yeah, somebody sent this to me, so I didn't actually pay for this, but I'm getting rid of it because it doesn't work for me. Also, in case you're wondering, my nail color, my nails look like shit right now, but this is a color called For the Twill of It by Essie. This is, it's, it's kind of a gunmetal, but it's got a nice kind of like pink and purple duochrome shift situation to it. I really like this color. I have um, Sally Hansen Big Matte Top Coat on it. I always use matte top coat whenever I use a nail polish because I like a matte nail. Um, but just in case you're wondering, that's what that is. All right, I think that's all I'm going to talk about. Sorry I blew through this video kind of quickly. I have like a full box of stuff I'm decluttering right here next to me. But just in case like you're interested, um, I just thought I would film this little video to talk about some of the stuff I'm getting rid of. I realize there's no context for this because you don't know what's in my collection versus what I'm taking out. So maybe I'll do like collection videos in the future. We'll see. I don't really know if I have the wherewithal to do that, but... You know, this is just some stuff I'm getting rid of. A lot of the stuff, like I said, is expired. I've had it for a really long time, so it's not really suitable to, like, give away to people. This is, like, stuff that needs to go out because it's all mostly expired. I've had a lot of this stuff for, like, five or six years, so I know it's not good anymore. Um, and my collection can only hold so much. I mean, most of the stuff in this declutter is actually stuff that's not very good. Some of the stuff I have in my collection is just I'm kind of on the fence about, so... You know, there's a difference between decluttering stuff that's like garbage versus decluttering stuff where you just have too much stuff. Um, stuff that you don't reach for as much or stuff that you don't use. And I feel like this is a little bit of a mixture of both. Like some of it's bad, some of it is just fine, and some of it I just don't reach for because I already have stuff that's a little bit better. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Get a little look into the stuff that I'm decluttering out of my own collection. Um, if you didn't enjoy it, then hopefully you haven't watched this far in, because um, what are you still doing here if you didn't like this video? Uh, but that's it. I think I'm going to go uh, put this stuff next to the garbage in my apartment, and then I'll probably edit this video, and then I will upload it. I don't know. We'll see. But that's it. I hope you like this. Um, let me know. I have like two and a half subscribers, so whatever. But if there's like anything you want to see or anything you're interested in seeing, please let me know. Uh, but thank you for watching. I really do appreciate, I know there's like 8 million YouTubers, so you spending like a half an hour with me or however long this video is, I really do appreciate that because I myself know it's easy to just watch the people you want to watch and you can click off at any time if you're not enjoying the video. But I do appreciate the time that you're spending with me. Maybe one of these days I'll actually do a makeup look video. Uh, who knows? Uh, but until next time, I am going to go, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening or weekend or whatever you're doing, and I will see you in the next video.